Hello guys and welcome. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to farm ascension materials for your weapons in Genshin Impact. Thank you for watching the video so far. Remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and ring the bell to help with the YouTube algorithm. Now back to the video. So um, I've been playing this game pretty much non-stop and I've, I've already hit adventure rank 26. And I'm able now to get to phase two of the ascension, which uh, phase two is from level 40 to 50. So you can see I've already got this weapon to level 50. I've got this character to level 50. So Razor is done. I ascended Barbara, but um, I think a weapon still needs work. And the same with most of my characters. I have leveled them up to 50, but the weapons are still lacking behind. So, for example, in this... Uh, for this character, for Animo, I need this item here, this Viled uh, Mercury Elixir. Now, one thing that you'll notice, and the reason I'm making this video, is it says that you have these domains, or these sources. They said they're available on certain days of the week. So what it is, basically, is that the dungeons have different drops on each day of the week. So we are interested in this domain of forgery. Um, so... Like, for example, today at the time of filming this video, it's a Sunday. I can click this and it will tell me exactly where the dungeon is. And I'm already here. So now let me quickly show you. So if I open it up. Now, right here, it says possible rewards and it changes daily. So as you can see, there's different loot here on different days of the week. So we are interested in these items here. So uh, we can only get them from this dungeon on Tuesday, Fridays and Sundays. So pay attention to that when you're going after certain Ascension materials. That There are certain materials you can only get on certain days of the week. Um, and otherwise you have to try and craft them. And try and keep in mind, based on my other videos about Alchemist and so on, um, about how you craft them, like what materials you need and so on. Like, do you need the green version to make the blue version and so on? Can you farm the green versions to then craft the blue version and things like that? So um, it's, it's something to pay attention to in this game uh, because any game like this, it is an uphill struggle. So, but it's definitely rewarding in the lo long run. Now, I'm doing this in a non-pay-to-win way. So you could, for example, just go into the shop and probably buy some of these materials. Uh, so you can use Stardust to buy some of the materials you might need. But I'm simply not going to do that. Um, I'm going to um, only use any uh, glitter and stuff I have in order to uh, try and roll characters. Because it's my only way of rolling because I'm refusing to spend any money on the game. So you can get all the materials in game from the domains. Just uh, whatever day of the week it is, see what you can grind, see what you need. Keep it in mind all the time. And yeah, and otherwise just keep enjoying the game um, as much as you can. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can watch around the video over there. You can watch the latest upload down there. Or you can click down here to subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye. Mm, I'm hungry. Let's hunt.